Have you ever been excited for that special lunch you pack for your long day at work? You get to the office fridge and it's gone. Well, new research out of America says over 40% of people have had their lunch stolen at the office. Have you? So I've never had my food stolen, although people use my peanut butter all the time. And what do you do? I say jokes on them because I double dip. Do you know where your snacks are? The study, which surveyed 2,000 Americans, found that nearly half of the country has dealt with co-workers stealing their food. And there's no shortage of people here in Canada encountering similar cases of peckish peers. I had, a, I had something, a soup or something, and I went back to get it because it was in the Happy Planet, and I went to get it, and somebody ate it. So now I label my food. Do not eat. <laughs> Do not touch. <laughs> I was in the kitchen, and someone who used to work with us, who doesn't work there anymore, opened the fridge, grabbed a, a can of this fancy, like, Whole Foods Juicy Pop stuff that I had, and I told her it was mine, and she said, I don't care. And she popped it open anyways and started drinking it. And I was just like... I didn't know what to do. The American study also found 60% of people would confront the person who took their food. But here in the Great White North, it seems we may take a more Canadian approach. Yeah, I'd probably, I guess, try to politely confront them. I'd probably call them out on it, but I wouldn't be too mad. I'm pretty generous. Uh, probably passive-aggressive notes. Yeah. <laughs> the survey also found one in three people have completely stopped bringing their lunch to work as a result of the thievery. And six out of ten have resorted to hiding their food. Here in Vancouver, it wasn't overly hard to find people dishing the dirty on how they've had a bite of some forbidden fruit. I want some, right? <laughs> so, um, it's hard, but you gotta fight it. Be a better person. Don't steal. In Vancouver, Ashley Burr, City News.